The 2000 Subway Series was one of the most memorable World Series championships won by the New York Yankees. This crosstown matchup divided the city of New York in an electrifying way with the Yankees winning the title in five hard-fought games. And for the Bronx Bombers, it was their fourth championship in five years. Let's take a look back as George Steinbrenner and his players reflect on what it was like facing the New York Mets. I don't know if it was sweet to you or not. Number 26 was against the Mets. Was that the most pressure you ever felt in the series? It was a lot of pressure. It was a very, very tight series. It was for the city of New York. I always thought that that was a can't win for the Yankees, because if they won, they were supposed that's to, and right. if they that lost. Th that was, they, yeah. That's right, exactly right. So that must have been a lot of pressure for you. It was a lot of pressure. Every Yankee I've spoken to, Paul O'Neill, who I do the games with, he, he always says that was the series with no joy. We either had to win yeah. or move. Yeah. So I mean, was that a no-win series for you guys? It, it was. It was. It was a no. It was a no-win situation. We better win. You know, that was really. That was the way we looked at it. Um, so, and it, but it was fun. I, I enjoyed it. I mean, it was kind of cool to be able to think back and to be able to get on the bus and we would drive over there. You know, for the games, we get a police escort and stuff like that. So, but uh, the fans loved it. It was. It was cool for the city. And uh, it was definitely, I understand what Paul's talking about because we, we definitely felt like that as a team that we, we need to win this thing or, or it's going to be tough to swallow this one. The Mets had just had a great year. They'd come out of nowhere and uh, they were going to upset the Yankees that year and all the pressure was on us to win that series. And there, was, there was really no pressure on the Mets. So we felt that if we had lost that series, like George Steinbrenner said before the series started, if we don't win this one, it's like we, it's like we haven't even won three before this. <laughs> so, really? you know, it was like, oh boy. And it was, that, was a, that was really stressful World Series for us. And when it was over, you can see it was more like a relief for all of us that we got by that one. Is it true that George Steinbrenner was moving furniture around in the Shea Stadium uh, Yankee locker room? Yeah, he did. What he did was our first day there over at Shea for uh, game one, guys were getting there early to the ballpark, first of all, because we, we wanted to avoid traffic. There was like three buses that went. Most of us took the early bus to get there early, and um, there was nowhere for us just to hang out and relax. You know, so we're sitting on stools and stuff, and guys are like, you know, laying on the floor, you know, just, just waiting for a couple hours to go by. And so the next day, George was like, what is this? You know, and he had, he had chairs brought in for everybody's locker. He brought in the couches from Yankee Stadium so guys can lay down and stuff. Uh, we had stuff everywhere. I mean, we had, it was like, it was awesome. But he, that's the way he was. When I finished that game against the Mets, I, I remember having my shin guards, and I couldn't take them off. That's how tired you were? Yeah, I was just like so tired. I took my chest protector, I sat in the dugout, and I was so exhausted that I couldn't take the shin guards off, so I celebrated with my shin guards on. <laughs> it was, I mean, especially mental. I think it was more mental than anything, but it was, it was tough, because it was so much, it was so much uh, pressure. There was great expectations. I think, you know, to me, my experience about the series was that the whole city of New York stopped to watch, you know, these two teams, you know, just battle it out. And it was, a, it, was a, it was a city World Series, but at the same time, it was a World Series. You know, it's like the whole country was watching. Right. So it, that was, to me, that was the cool thing about it. And they were watching this as Mike Piazza swings, and it's a deep drive to left center. Now, did you know you had this? Because Mariano no. thought it was out. No. Well, I thought it was out, too. I'll tell you what, though, I thought that ball was out. Did you see? You know, from the moment that he hit it, I went like, oh, God. I have to start running back and then start get to the fence, get to the fence and make your adjustment there. As so I'm looking, every kind of two or three steps, I'm looking to see where the ball is. Uh, and then as I'm looking, I see the ball dying. And I'm like, whoa, I may have a chance to catch this. And all of a sudden, I'm turning because I have to go back because the ball, you know, I'm, I'm overrunning the ball. And I'm turning, and I'm like, whoa, I get a chance to catch this ball. And then when I caught it, you know, I was like, the one thing, the only thing that could occur to me was to give God thanks, you know? <laughs> like, thank you, God, we caught this. 